Hi, in my last video, we have helped customers to set up the PoE extension solution to repeat the PoE network up to 1000 feet for four IP cameras. You can reference my another video how to make this work. First, let's recap what we have done in the last video. We do have four cameras at the edge, and there's about 1000 feet from the camera to the network video recorder. This is the 1000 feet continue run Ethernet cable. There's two challenge. Remember, the first challenge is the distance, because the TCP/IP network is limited to about 328 feet. So we are using two PoE standard. This is the first one. The second one, two PoE standard working together to achieve 1000 feet continue run for the data. The second challenge is the power. We cannot use the PoE PoE plus switch. The reason is the power maximum output is just 30 watt. So we are using the 90 watt PoE plus plus switch, which can output 90 watt from single Ethernet port. But the one thing we didn't explain why this PoE plus plus switch can output 90 watt such high power. The secret is the new PoE standard, PoE BT, taking all four twist pairs in the Ethernet cable to send the power. The PoE plus only take half of the twist pair to send the power. Of course, you also need this two PoE extender support the latest PoE plus plus. That's the reason why we have the high power at the edge after 1000 feet, which can supply four IP cameras. Now the customer bring another question. Can he add the wireless access point at the edge so it can provide the Wi-Fi coverage around the camera? Actually, the setup will become very really easy because this is the standard TCP IP network. As long as this is the network device, we can just hook the network device to the edge, then provide the network coverage around the camera. Okay, now in this short video, I will see how to make it work. First, we will need to connect the router to this switch. So we will have the internet accessing to the CCTV network. Okay, I'll use this short punch code to link one of the network port to any port, either PoE or non-PoE will be good. I think you may be wondering why we can connect the non-PoE equipment to the just PoE port. Don't worry, in the standard PoE system, there are always power handshaking. Before the PoE switch release the power to your edge device, it will classify and verify if your edge device is non-equipment, it just will provide the data. So there's no problem for the PoE switch to work with the non-PoE device, such as the router. Okay, now let's move to the edge switch. This is the outdoor PoE switch. Remember, the switch can power by another PoE switch or PoE injector. So we do need to have the power source, external power source for this outdoor PoE switch. It's getting the power from the 90 watt PoE switch. The next thing is I just need to pick one of the PoE port and connect to this wireless access point because this wireless access point also support PoE. There's no need for external power source. All right, let me just pick one of the PoE port. Then connect the cable to the access point. You see the indicators on. Now the auto access point is start initialing. I will take the data from the switch and also the router, then provide the Wi-Fi card here. So it's quite easy. Okay, let me put another space. That will be fine. All right. You see the whole system is the standard TCP IP network. You can connect the access point or connect the computer or connect the IoT device, the sensor, as long as your equipment is running with the TCP IP network, just like the network equipment, then it will be fine. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.